Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land, welcome back to the Killer Cycle channel. 180 Kilos here and just giving you a few updates on what's been happening since my last video. In the last video you obviously saw the main Costa Flow system that had lettuce seedlings in it and a few chives. Those chives have been trimmed back as well as uh, the seeds, seedlings for the uh, lettuces have grown a bit more so I'm just going to show you that now you can see here that the lettuces have grown quite significantly in the last two weeks there were tiny little seedlings uh, in the last video now that they've grown out a bit and more leaves are coming off of those seedlings the chives, however, have been trimmed back yet again, and they have been used in an omelette or two. The chili seedlings are growing significantly as well. They've got quite a few more leaves since the last video, and now it's a case of waiting until they get bigger and start to fruit. The flood and drain tap uh, is again is on a timer and we will be waiting for the uh, next cycle to occur. Now my timer has just gone off for the uh, flood and drain systems. Uh, as you can see there, the water is flowing into the system with the chili plants. And if we move along to the new system, as you can see, that's also on the same timer as well. If you move, if I move it there, you can also see that uh, there's the loop uh, for the loop siphon. And hopefully once that gets to the top, that'll uh, kick in. There's also a loop siphon in here uh, with the chili plants as well. As you can see here, this is my third tank. It's slightly different to the other two tanks in that the uh, supplier is different from the other uh, two tanks. And here we've got a flood and drain system set up. The flood and drain system set up is uh, ideal for the next type of plant that I'm going to put in this tank. Uh, as of yet, we don't have any fish for it, but uh, that could be rectified sometime soon. As you can see for both of these flood and drain tanks, the empty one on the left and the one with the chili plants on the right, you can see that they're both on a timer. How we've done that is we've got the timer that's actually connected to a power board in which the power point for both of these pumps are connected to. As you saw there, we've got a new system. Uh, it's almost ready to go, but I don't want to put any uh, plants in until such time I've got the fish ready. And I don't want to put the fish in until I've actually got uh, proper seedlings that have properly germinated. So there's only one thing to do from here, and that's, uh, Plant some seeds. I'm out here growing some tomato seedlings. Now the seeds are coming with the greenhouse and with 12 Jiffy Pugs. So I'll just show you the kit here. So yeah, as it's got its kit, you got your 12 Pugs and you got some tomato seeds. Now the tomato seeds are a bit excessive in there but uh, that's for future use. So as you can see here, we've got our kit ready uh, for us to use. This is how you buy it from the store. And we're just going to take everything out. Now what we'll have, obviously we take off the coat. You know, we've got the top of our greenhouse here, the bottom of our greenhouse here. Uh, red cherry tomatoes there and your dehydrated uh, Jiffy Pucks. Now here I've got my warm water and my Jiffy Pucks here. 
So I've got to make sure that they're all upright. Now to make sure that they're upright, you've got to have the embossed circle in there facing up to you. So this one here is obviously down a bit, so there we go. And this will help you for when they are fully expanded and helps with the next step as well. And there we are, they are looking upright. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the water. That should be enough. Now, you see that some of them are floating, some aren't. Uh, don't worry about that because they will expand over time. So what I'll be doing now is I'll give you a time lapse of when they're uh, going to expand. Any uh, water that's left over after these have expanded should be drained off. So I'll just be doing that now. The reason I had the circles facing upwards before I started putting the water in was purely and simply for this reason. As you can see, now that they're fully expanded, you have at the top here some exposed peat right here, yep, like that, ready for you to plant your seeds in. Now the way that the peats are with the netting, so as you can see, there's one right here, there's the bottom there, top there, so if we had them the other way around, we'd have a bit of lost peat and um, probably a worse result. Now it's time for planting these seeds, so I'll just move these back here. The seeds are here, and I'll just tap a few out. And what I'd like to do is grab my tweezers here, and I will start planting. Now I like to use the tweezers because they, these seeds are so small, and there's our first one there. Now. Just like to shove it in a bit. Okay, yep, shove it in like that and cover it over the top with some peat. And there we go. Now I'll be doing that uh, a few more times with uh, a few more of these seeds. And here we are, the last of the seeds goes into this one here. All right. Making sure that they're all covered up. Yep, 12 seeds, tomato seeds ready to go. And now we just place the cover on top like that. and they are ready to be put into sunlight where hopefully they will grow from seeds to seedlings and uh, we'll be able to plant them in our next flood and drain box. So those tomato seedlings will be ready to plant into my system in about maybe a week or two. So hopefully uh, when we get our next update, I'll show you how much they've grown and uh, we'll show you when we can actually put them into the system. If you like what you see there, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. 
Also, if you have anything else that you'd like to say or pass on a message, comment below. And just remember, seeing is believing that you're getting screwed.